Tonight, there's more evidence the IRS targeted not just conservative political groups, but religious groups also. Reverend Franklin Graham says the IRS targeted both of the charities he leads, and he is taking his complaint directly to President Obama. Reverend Graham joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you, Greta. Um, you have written the president on May 14th. I take you haven't received an answer back, have you? No. Right. Why did you write him? Uh, Greta, I didn't suspect uh, really anything. Uh, well, excuse me, I did suspect a little bit. Both Samaritan's Purse and the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, uh, mm -hmm. on September, uh, we received a letter. And both both dated the same. Both same, dated same. Same day. I got copies of both. That yeah. we were being audited. And, uh, and they have a, a long list of things that they wanted to say, which is fine. They have the right to come audit us, and, and this is an issue. And we were glad to work, work with them. The agent that they sent, a nice fellow, a very, very professional. So there's a lot of great people in the IRS. And I don't want a broad brush that the, all these people are bad people. Uh, there's a couple, of, I think, of bad apples. Uh, but they came to, and they audited us after uh, the audit, uh, after the election, we, we got a letter that everything was all clear. There was no change to our Form 990. Uh, but then we had another issue. The Billy Graham Association is, uh, in, was incorporated in Minneapolis. We've moved our office from Minneapolis to Charlotte, North Carolina. We decided to open up a North Carolina corporation and then file for tax exempt status for that North Carolina corporation. Normally something like that would be five, six, maybe nine months at, at, the, at, the, at the most. Uh, Greta, it took 14 months. And we had nine different follow-ups with the IRS asking them, do they need more information? What's the status? And they said it was a waiting uh, for, for someone to, to look at it. But there's no reason for 14 months, Greta. So when all of this news broke, I just started wondering if there's some, if, if maybe the IRS is targeting Christian groups. Since we have spoken out, Greta, there's been another, other, uh, excuse me, a, a number of other Christian organizations now that have come forward and said, hey, we too, we have been audited as well. And I don't know, Greta, I, I, but I've asked the president to look into it because if they are targeting us because of our, our conservative uh, religious beliefs, I think it's wrong. See, Greta, I believe, I believe the Bible to be God's word from cover to cover. Um, and I believe it to be true. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Uh, I, I want to, to, to stand by God's Word. Uh, when it came to, in North Carolina, we had the marriage amendment uh, last year, and we supported the marriage amendment, and we took out ads with money that was donated for that purpose, supporting the marriage amendment. And it was and, after that that you got the audit letters. That's when we got the audit letters, and also the agent, when he came, when mentioned that uh, that had been one of the complaints. All right, well, so the president, maybe we'll get back to you on your May 14th letter. Um, before I end, though, I do want to ask you, um, Oklahoma, what's Samaritan's Purse doing? Uh, Greta, we have got, uh, our trucks are there. Uh, we have started with volunteers. Uh, they started coming in yesterday. Uh, I believe it was the, the, today was the first day they were working. We'll be there probably uh, several months uh, helping people. First of all, a, a home that is completely just uh, like it's been blown up. You go in with the homeowner with their permission, and you help them remove now the, the, the trash on, the, on their home. Uh, the, the debris, so they can find their personal items. Uh, maybe it's a picture, maybe it's a, a, a letters from uh, and, a loved one, and you help them save that. Uh, and then you go from house to house and doing that. And then we start clearing off the lots. And people that don't have uh, insurance, Greta, uh, we will we will help them to try to rebuild some of their homes. And I've actually I've seen it with my own eyes the work that Samaritan's Purse has done in these uh, you know these tornadoes, these hurricanes, and it's actually quite impressive. It's a finely oiled machine with tractor trailers with with the uh, chainsaws and everyone's very well organized. It's sort of fascinating to watch, although it's a heartache for people on the ground, but they're grateful to have you there. And people can read more about it on SamaritansPurse.org and uh, off to Oklahoma. Anyway, nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Coming up, President Obama announcing new standards for U.S. drone strikes, but are the changes enough?